Talha, one of the heroes of Uhud. Even for the smallest thing, Ibu Talha was among the companions who were willing to sacrifice his life for the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, which he believed to be the greatest blessing. In fact, he was famous for his devotion and affection to Rasulullah. Ibu Talha was born in Medina and was married to Umm Sulaim and she was the reason he became a Muslim. Umm Sulaim's first husband passed away before the Hijrah and Umm Sulaim was widowed. She waited until her son, Anas bin Malik, grew up to get married. Ibu Taha had proposed to Umm Sulaim many times but was rejected. One day, Ibu Taha once again visited her house and when Umm Sulaim saw that he insisted on marrying her, she had hope. She considered accepting the marriage to allow someone in the darkness to see the light of Islam. She told him, someone like you isn't someone to be rejected. However, you are a polytheist. If I were to marry you, would you genuinely be a believer in Islam or would you hide your past way of belief? I am a Muslim and I believe in Allah and his messenger. I do not want money from you, I want you to be Muslim. Don't you know that if you put the idol you worship as a god on fire, it would burn to ash? Aren't you ashamed to worship something like this? If you bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his messenger, I will accept that as a dowry and will not ask for anything else. These words deeply affected him. Signs of faith began to appear on his face. He said, I accept your offer. I testify that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a messenger of Allah to her. After their marriage, his life completely changed. He devoted all of himself and his life to Islam. Rasulullah established a brotherhood with Ibu Taha and had a close relationship with him and his wife. From time to time, Rasulullah visited his family and these visits made him very happy. Also, if a nice meal was cooked in their house, some of it would be saved for the Prophet. Ibu Taha was one of the wealthiest in the Ashab and had many date orchards in Medina. Among these, he liked the Bayraha orchard the most. This place was very close to Masjid al-Nabawi. Our Prophet often visited here, watched the beautiful scenery, and drank the orchard's famous spring water. One of the most obvious qualities of Ibu Taha was his obedience to the orders of Allah and the Prophet. He would immediately fulfill what was ordered without questioning it in any matter. This great Sahaba also narrated 92 hadiths. After the death of our Prophet وسلم, Ibu Taha was not able to stay with the memories of our Prophet and moved to Damascus from Medina. No matter how much he wanted to visit the grave of the Messenger of Allah, he remained in Damascus for a long time. However, he returned to Medina in the last days of Omar Radallahu's caliphate. Omar trusted Ibu Taha with the duty of guarding the door of the meeting during the process of deciding a new caliph.